It could be a historic day for the 1,000 Bosnians living in the village of Jezero. They're hoping that the landing of the Perseverance rover on a crate on Mars will bring them some earthly rewards. NASA told them in 2019 it was to name the 45-kilometre-wide crater after the village because it was once home to a river-fed lake, just like the one outside Jezero. It provoked different reactions. When I received the letter, I was amused. I thought it was fake news. Local residents reacted differently as well. Some thought it was superb, and others ridiculed it. People were saying, our mayor will take us to Mars. Equipped with the latest landing technology, NASA says its Mars rover is heading for a bullseye. Thanks to a new autopilot tool that will release a massive parachute and a scanning system that will guide it to a compact 8 by 6 kilometre patch on the edge of an ancient river delta. Faster than previous Mars vehicles, Perseverance will drive across Jezero collecting samples of rocks and gravel. A fetch rover will retrieve them in 2026 and the geologic treasure will arrive on Earth in the early 2030s. Scientists say it's the only way to find out if life flourished on a wet, watery Mars three to four billion years ago. Our journey has been from following the water to seeing whether this planet was habitable to finding complex chemicals. And now we're at the advent of an entirely new phase, returning samples, an aspirational goal that has been with the science community for decades. Back in Yezero, a whiff of celebration hovers in the air. After years of hardship and poverty that remains entrenched since the Bosnian War of the 1990s, NASA's mission to Mars is a source of pride, if the rover lands successfully or not. Katie Dartford for Euronews.